Hey there. Hope you're having an awesome Martin Luther King Day. And uh, as promised, I want to get on here and give you my no-spoiler review of the movie Just Mercy. Now, Just Mercy, you know, uh, there's, there's a movie about two guys who are teamed up, who are fighting against injustice in our world. Well, I'm not talking about Bad Boys for Life, which is a great movie, but I'm talking about Just Mercy. It stars Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx. And let me tell you something about this movie. They, the acting in it is superb. Uh, the storyline, the, the, you know, the, the wildest thing about the storyline is that the story is a true story. So you look at it and you just think, wow, this really happened. You know, and in all the marketing for uh, the movie, it talks about them being about a new kind of hero. And it's re the reason why is because Michael B. Jordan has played everything from, you know, Creed to uh, uh, the Human Torch in a terrible Fantastic Four movie to um, just, uh, well, he was a villain in Black Panther. But anyway, this is a different kind of hero because he used the law system to work on behalf of people that he was representing. And that's what the true story was about. So... Do I recommend it? Absolutely. Um, as far as needing to stay past the credits, um, I would say stay during the credits because they show some of the real life uh, updates to the people who are in the movie. Oh, also Brie Larson is in it. You can barely recognize her. You might say, Brie Larson, Brie Larson, that name sounds familiar. Well, she's Captain Marvel, but you know, you could get through this whole movie and not realize that Brie Larson is Captain Marvel and she's in that movie. But uh, she is, and she plays a pretty substantial role. So, success tip. Here's a success tip. The reason why the character played by Michael B. Jordan is a hero is because he had to go up against adversity. I was recently talking to a, a close friend of mine, and he was saying how he stopped watching this particular uh, series because every week it seemed like they were in his predicament and having to overcome the predicament, and it got to be too much for him just to see this predicament being overcome again. You know, every week, a new predicament, da-da-da-da. Well, in the hero's journey, there's going to be a predicament. Can you imagine going to see a movie where they start out cool, everything is going well, and then the movie progresses and everything's still going well, and then after an hour and a half, you get to the end, and everything's still going well? That'd be a boring movie. That wouldn't be a hero's journey at all. Well, that's the way real life is. And just because you're going against that adversity does not mean that you're not supposed to persevere through it and get to that end goal. And that's the encouragement I have to you as you go through your own hero's journey, as you're moving towards the goals and dreams that you have, understand that there will be adversity. But as a friend of mine, Stacy, always says, it's a story for the stage, meaning that once you get past it, It'll be something you can share with people as part of your story to encourage them in their journey. So, um, as always, if you inbox me and send me a private message, I will send you the top five movies that you should be watching at the uh, Cineplex now. There's so many movies out there. Some are great. Some are just all now duds. Something that you don't even want to spend your money on. So, if you send me an instant message, I will definitely respond and let you know what the movies are that you're supposed to be watching or that you should consider watching so you don't waste your money. So inbox me. I'll get that to you. Otherwise, have a great Martin Luther King Day. Remember to have your dream and work towards your dream because you're worth it. Be blessed. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.